close your eyes, watch your breath, try to stay right here. We meditate so that we can make a change in the mind, and we do that by staying in one place. If you move around a lot, one, it doesn't change the mind. The breath just becomes one more place that you're checking out. And then, too, you don't seek what's really going on. Because as the Buddha said, his awakening required that he saw cause and effect in his mind. What his actions were doing and then the results of his actions. And if you don't stay right here, you don't see your actions clearly and you don't see the connection with their results. It's like walking into a movie theater. You see five minutes of the film and then you walk out, spend all your time eating in the lobby and then you come back in half an hour later. You don't know what's going on. You play connect the dots, and you think, well, maybe this happened, maybe that happened. That's how we go through life, with a, with a lot of maybes. Sometimes we're right, sometimes we're wrong. But if you really want to be sure what's connecting to what, what you're doing and the results of what you're doing, you've got to stay right here. You've got to watch the whole movie from beginning to end. Then you understand it. So any temptation to follow another thought right now, just let it, let it go. You hold on to the breath. And if someone accuses you of being attached to the breath, say, well, I'm attached to something good. Because if the mind doesn't have something to hold on to, it'll, or something good to hold on to, it'll hold on to whatever passes by. The Buddhist image is of crossing over a river on a raft. You hold on to the raft all the way across. If you let go of the raft, you're in the middle of the river, get swept down by the current. You'll just grasp onto anything that comes by. You might grasp onto a crocodile. You might grasp onto a piece of junk. Because the mind needs something to hold on to. As long as it's still in the river, you need to hold on. So hold on to the breath. This is your raft. And as you stay here, you're in a good position to see both what's going on in the mind and what's going on in the body, and the connection between the two. That way you come to an understanding for yourself what's skillful and what's not, what should be let go of, what should be encouraged. It's because you see the whole story from beginning to end. <coughs> 